Hey guys, Sarah with you, and this is uh, another video in the How to Make Your Manga More Popular uh, videos. You can find the rest of my uh, How to Make Your Manga More Popular playlist. I made a playlist for that. Anyways, um, let's continue on the discussion of uh, from last time. So, let's say that you have the numbers of subscribers that you're satisfied with. Um, and you're concentrating now on making videos and now we're going to talk about sharing because at this point you have more of friends than you do subscribers so the friends already kind of have an idea about your channel like you do art you know some of them kind of check on you uh, once every one like here and there every once in a while and uh, what you want from your videos, you want to start when you're kind of still like, I have 200 subscribers and I'm aiming to get an extra 50 from my friends list. If I have, for example, 300 friends list, or uh, let's say you have 500 on your friends list and you want to like, I have 200 subscribers, I want to add 50 more from these 500 friends. So you start to, at the beginning, you know, at the beginning, start to share every video that you upload. Every video. Even if you have, like, for example, um, you have, like, how to draw something, part two, part, part one, part two, part three. Share the three parts together uh, to that user. And keep on doing that. You will notice that your subscribers will be increasing, but not as much as when you added, you know, you went to invite people. It will start to increase maybe a little bit by bit, a little slower, but it will. Because people would check on the shared, you know, the, the, the shared videos, and if they like the video, they will uh, check it out, which that's, that's what you want to do. Um, and so, for example, now you have reached those 250 subscribers, you've gained those 50 subscribers that you are, uh, that you were hoping from, share, from sharing your videos. So, from this point, don't go ahead to, uh, share every video that you upload, because if you keep doing that, people will unsubscribe to you because what is the point of subscription? The point is that you're watching the latest videos. So if you kind of share every latest video that you have, it's the same idea as subscription. You know, when you share it with your friends, it's the same basic idea. But you want to get subscribers. So don't share everything. Uh, for example, you're doing two videos. Share one of them. Uh, you're doing, for example manga des description and another one like a manga chapter keep something for your subscribers to be the exclusive thing like for example uh, share the manga chapter but keep the manga description for your um, for your for, for your friends for your um, I'm sorry for your subscribers so share uh, the chapter with your friends, but leave the uh, the, the descriptions and do not um, and do not share it uh, with your friends list. Keep it just for those who subscribe to you to see these videos once they come out. Keep it exclusive for them, and um, you'll start to get again subscribers, but not as much as when you shared your videos, it will start to kind of, you won't get a lot of subscribers as you would uh, imagine. But here's the point. You've already invited friends, you have already um, shared videos. You want to give your account a chance to breathe, to see how are you doing. Because what happens is, when uh, people start to like your videos, they start to tell more about these videos that you are doing. 
uh, kind of spread the word around you. And that's the wonderful thing about the social media, that people are in direct contact with each other and they say, like, I know this awesome artist and here's the link to their YouTube account. And they start to tell people about you. And technically, you will have uh, subs from these guys who are talking about you. So you want to give, like... A chance for your account to kind of um to kind of breathe. Again, this is a process that will take time. It will not happen like you won't get 50 subscribers over the course of day and night. It's still gonna take some time, uh, so you have to be very patient with this. Another thing about just knowing about social media is that you know it's I talked I talked about more about the social media um that. It's the media that allows you to post something and somebody can comment on and you can reply on it. And there's kind of this, um, there's this discussion whether, you know, YouTube is a social media because of the comments on the video and the comments on the channel, Twitter, Facebook. Facebook is a little bit more of an intimate type of social media because uh, if you're keeping it for your friends, but if you're keeping it for your fans, that's another thing. Or you're keeping it open for everyone to come and comment. That's another thing. Uh, Skype is also a type of a social media. Uh, blog TV. All this kind of stuff is a social media stuff. So, um, I would like to talk a little bit about social media and the importance of it in promoting your work. But that's going to be a little later. Uh, but right now, uh, I just want to tell you, like, if you're concentrating on one, which is YouTube, because that's the main uh, channel right now. Uh, people will start to, for example, YouTube and DeviantArt. If you are into DeviantArt, if you're not, because a lot of people don't use it because they, uh, they DeviantArt has viruses that attack computers. So let's concentrate more on uh, YouTube at this point. People will start to comment on your videos. Um, my suggestion is that you. See see if that comment is worth a reply or not and reply to it. Or you can just reply to every comment that you get. Um, I do that. I don't know why, but I believe when you keep kind of a two-directional contact with you and your subscribers or the one who's commenting on you, it's a lot better to kind of keep your public or keep your your the 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 fan base that you have made kind of interested you know she's listening to us she's kind of um like answering our comments and all that so you have for example somebody who wrote a comment on your channel reply to them don't make like or don't leave it without any comments that won't result in something good it could backfire on you anyways um what I want to say is, is when you have like a comment, reply to it. Whether it was on YouTube or, you know, your YouTube channel or your YouTube video. Uh, it's very important to, uh, to stay in touch with your, with your community or with the fan base that you have. Um, and I will talk about that a little later. Well, probably I will talk about it probably in my next video, which is you have already now the number of subscribers that you want. You have uh, you have shared the videos and got another number of subscribers uh, from that the one that you the the number that you wanted, and now you're um you have comments and you start to reply on them. I'll talk more about them because I'm running out of time. In the next video, I know I'm taking this like a slow process, but this is the best way. It's kind of hard to cramp everything into one or two or three videos. So I hope that you kind of bear with me through the next couple of videos. It's not going to be long, I promise that. But, um, yeah, it's going to be next time, uh, that part, which is con staying in touch with your fan base or your community um, through YouTube, and who knows, maybe I'll start to talk more about the social media part and its importance in the manga world, or at least in our manga world. Um, so, yeah, that's it, uh, and I'll see you in another uh, video. See you later, you guys.